channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial video on my wash and go so you guys can see how I do it, how I style it, how I stretch it over the course of a couple of days and make it super big. Okay, so first things first, I just wet my hair, okay? One second. Okay, so I'm just shampooing with the Mayo Organics Pomegranate and Honey Shampoo. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Pretty self-explanatory. It's shampoo. Ah, it's in my eye. You'll notice the second time you shampoo, it'll be way more bubbly. Sudsy, that's when you know it's clean. The first time, it's really collecting all the dirt. This time, it's just making sure it's all gone and reinforcing that moisture. That's what I love about the Mayel shampoo, though. It actually adds moisture. It doesn't strip my hair. Like, every other shampoo that I've used leaves my hair feeling, like, completely stripped. It feels still moisturized after I'm done using the shampoo, so. And then we're going to go ahead and condition. All right, back in there with the pomegranate and honey conditioner. I'm literally running out, so I'm just going to do a very light condition and then drench my hair and leave-in conditioner. Whew. Get into the length, y'all. Look at this. Ah, it's almost to my shoulder. You wouldn't know that because it's shrunk, but oh my goodness. I'm just working that conditioner in. Period. All right, she's been detangled. Ah, she looks crazy. It's okay, but we got the face in. All right. I probably put too much of this in my hand for initial time, but that's okay. So when I do my leave-in, I take it and I just dab it all on the outside of the hair. And then I start to work it into the root. But I always hit the whole perimeter first just to make sure that there's going to be some on every piece of hair. Yeah, I used way too much for that initial situation, but that's okay. And we just work in that through until you start to feel your curls clumping. Because they were all brushed out from detangling. That's when I know I've used enough of the leave-in. Once I start to feel clumps forming in my hand as I'm applying it, I'm like, okay, cool. It stays really wet also helps. Because the drier it gets, that just promotes more frizz, so keep it moist as hell and just work that leave-in into all of your hair. Y'all see how long it's getting? This is crazy. Curls starting to form back up. All right, once we got that part done, you can start seeing the curls have started to really start to form. And now I'm going to use the twisting souffle. And basically, with the Mayel products, each one will tell you the type of definition you're going to get from the product on the bottle. So this one says semi deep definition and that's what I love because it doesn't shrink my hair as much as the coil sculpt and custard. And sometimes I want it to be big and fluffy and sometimes I want it to be really, really defined. So I'm just going to cover my hands in it and again, get it all on the outside and then start working it in just like I did with the leave-in. And I'm not raking my fingers through my hair. 
I am just scrunching to get it onto all the pieces and smoothing to eliminate frizz. Ooh, okay, a little bit more right for the middle. And let's see. Your hair will take the best when it's like dripping wet because that's when it has the most definition to your real curl. Once it starts to dry, you know, it starts to separate and all of that. So while it's wet, you just really got to work this product in really good. Make sure you're getting through all of the pieces so that they're not clumping together. That's not a good thing really work the product in like such you still have motion all that good stuff and i hit this little pieces over here with a little extra and i'm just grabbing it stretching it so that it's not matted to my scalp. Again, I do all of this in the shower so that I don't have to deal with cleaning up my bathroom. You can do it at the sink if that's what you wanna do, but I like to go ahead and knock it all out in the shower. So when I get out, I just live my life. All right. I think we're set. I'm just stretching it one more time, making sure that product is really worked in. Shake it out. So you got motion. And then we let it dry. Last thing that I will say about this product is like, no matter how much I put on there, it does not leave a white cast. Like it might look white right now, but it dries perfectly black like so perfectly black so if you guys are looking for some new hair products to try i promise you i recommend myel organics it is the only thing i've been using since january and my hair is flourishing so try it and this is what it ends up looking like after you have put the product on all of the hair so i'll see how defined these curls are and now we're gonna take them outside and shake it out until it's dry. Right, and my next step is to just shake it out like a dog. Whew. Get some of that excess water off of it and that motion going so it doesn't dry mat it and look you see how each of the pieces like fall down that's when you know you got it from the root to the tip do that and now we patiently wait for it to dry Okay, we are like three quarters dry. It's almost done. So this is how I tie it up at night to stretch it. My little six ponytails. And I just put my bonnet on, period. So my biggest tip to retaining length is to stretch your hair at night so you're not sleeping like right on your crown or sleeping right in the back of it and smushing your hair because as it gets mad at you have to wet it and do more to it every day and just manipulating your scalp like this also promotes hair growth you know you just gotta 
do what you do. Sleep with a bonnet on after you stretch it. Don't sleep on your hair. And if you are going to sleep on it, sleep on a silk pillowcase. Do something, you know. You can't just do nothing and expect it to grow. And as you see, like, I might have a little bit of split ends, but I've been really taking care of them. And the Myel Organic Split End Therapy, it's a bomb. It's bomb. So, y'all. Y'all have to start using this My Organics. I promise y'all, it'll change your hair's life, period. Okay, so in the morning when I wake up, take my bonnet off, got my little six ponytails, and I'm going to go ahead and take them out and fluff my hair. So I'm using some black castor oil just to go over each of these puffs like this and rub it in my hands so that my hair isn't getting any friction from my hands. And I am unraveling my scrunchies. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay. Fruit. And start to separate it. Separate, separate, separate. Okay. And then the next side. Do it again. Separate, separate, separate. And I like to kind of pick as I go. Just to... Start bringing it together instead of it being so far apart. Cool, cool, cool. Boom, bam, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, next puff. Do, 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 do. Do. Just start to pull it apart. And now I accidentally did my hair too late in the day, so it did not fully dry. So this isn't its best potential yet, like that it could possibly be, but that's okay. I'm gonna just roll with it. But I'm gonna unravel and just start to separate. Same thing with the other side. Unravel. Start to separate it with your hands. Shake it out. Still make sure you got that motion. And then we're just gonna use our pick to bring it all together. So like in the middle where it was all separated, just use our pick, bring the whole situation together. And after it dries just a little bit more, I'll pick it some more because it's not fully dry. So once it's fully dry, I'll come back and do a little bit more. But for now, I'm about to just do my makeup and we'll be back for this in a little bit. Okay, so this is the second day hair. And I'm just going to fluff it out one more time. And then I'm going to show you guys how I actually stretch it because yesterday I forgot. Okay. All right. So I pick it out. And then I have eight scrunchies right here. Who knows if I'm going to use all eight, but we're going to see. So the first thing I do is part my hair right here. It's a natural part there too because... It does it automatically because that's how I sleep every night. So hit the first one and then I just wrap the scrunchie around twice. Boom, bam, pull. So it stretches at the root, okay? Then do the other side and only as far back as you feel necessary. So it's not like over stretching it because you don't want to be pulling your hair out. But um. Boom, bam. All right, got my front two. So then I, all right, so then the next little section, and I just let my hair part where it parts naturally without trying to rip through it. Sometimes I rip through, but I got hair to spare. If you don't got hair to spare, don't 
rip through your hair because you will feel pieces snagging and feel like you're killing yourself. I personally, every time I break a piece of hair or not break it, but if I could feel it come out at the root, I'd be like, phew, one less piece to deal with. But, but that's just me. I got a lot of hair. Okay, so there's two, three, four, and then the last ones. We just split it naturally again on either side and boom, bam, boom. And then the other side, boom, bam, boom. Okay, okay. Then you just put your bonnet on and go to bed. <gasps> I lost my earring. <sighs> All right, that's besides the point. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Thank you.